In Genesis 1-3 it says, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Have you ever decreed that for yourself when you're having a dark day, when you're in the middle of a dark situation? God, let there be light. And what does that mean? It means that God's divine order will take over the situation, take over your life, and smooth things out. God has the power to bring order to seeming chaos. Now, I'm not just preaching. I'm right where you are, and this has happened many times in my life. When there was chaos going on, where I didn't have a clue how to get out of it or how to control it, God did. And God does control it if you allow God, by allowing that light of God to shine in the situation. You can connect with God's divine order right now through the power of God's presence that is with you right now. You may not see it with your eyes when you see only chaos, but just close your eyes for a moment and ask for God's help. Ask for divine order to take over, and it will. Even what appears to be the most impossible situation, order is possible, for divine order is bringing about the right solutions if you allow it to take place, and it can right now, today. Through the presence of God in you, you tap the inexhaustible source of divine energy, and this divine energy will establish and maintain everything in your life. By affirming divine order is governing everything in your life, you will realize that you are in the flow of God, and everything that appeared like a maze where you couldn't find your way a moment ago, God is leading you to the very best and the highest. You realize at the end of the day, yes, God is indeed in charge. God's order rules not only our lives, but the entire universe. And as we cooperate with divine order, we will see every situation unfolding in a harmonious and an orderly way. I wish you light today, my friend. I wish you God's light. And I pray, totally, it eliminates darkness. God bless you.